Today we're going to be showing you a complete beginner's guide to the AirTag. We're going to start this video off just by going over the initial setup process and then we're going to go over all of the incredible features of this AirTag as well as the best tips and tricks that you need to know about to be able to use your AirTag to its maximum potential. So by the end of this video, you'll never need to worry about losing your favorite possessions ever again. So let's dive into today's video, a complete beginner's guide to the AirTag. Since our AirTag is not rechargeable, Apple came up with a good strategy to make sure that we're not wasting any of the AirTag battery while it's in the box. Uh, and the way they do this is through this simple uh, film layer that they put around our AirTag. You're gonna notice that when we open this up and take this film wrap off, it's going to make a beeping noise. So let's go ahead and take that off. And you'll see that it's actually attached internally on our AirTag. And when we pull that out, if you heard that, it made a beeping noise because it's actually just powering on our AirTag. So again, it's gonna come with a full charge and the battery life should last about a year. Once it does die, uh, you can purchase a replacement battery online uh, for fairly cheap. So it is an affordable uh, thing to go and buy a new battery. Uh, but unfortunately, we cannot charge the AirTag. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you how we can take out the battery and replace that. But for now, let's jump in with the initial setup process. Now that our AirTag is out of its box and powered on, we need to get it connected to our devices. So all you need to do is open your Apple device, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, and then simply place your AirTag nearby you'll see this AirTag connection prompt will appear on your screen. Then just click the connect button and then you're going to be able to choose the name for your AirTag. So this is where you're going to place your AirTag. So you have the choice between backpack, bike, camera, handbag, jacket, the list goes on. And then you could also have a custom name. I'm going to put this one set to wallet, then just press continue. Now you do need to have your Apple ID set up. So if you don't, it's going to ask you to set up your Apple ID. This is how you're able to use the Find My application to use your actual AirTag. So get that connected to your Apple ID, then just press continue. And just like that, it's going to pair our device right to our AirTag just like that. Now there's a few things to note here. One is you need to make sure your Bluetooth is on. You need to make sure you have your Apple ID all set up. It may also ask you to update your Apple ID settings. And then lastly, you need to make sure your software is updated. So I'll show you in a second how to check on that, but you need to go to your settings and update the latest software update on your phone so you can use your AirTag to its maximum potential. But now that we're connected, let's take a look at some of the things our AirTag can do for us. So it has precision finding. When the air, air tag is nearby, an arrow is going to point us to its precise location, which I'm going to show you in just a second. You can also have your air tag play a sound. So maybe you know your air tag is nearby, maybe uh, in the room uh, that you're sitting in, but you still can't find it. You can have your air tag play a sound so you can hear, you can hear it in its live location. And then if your air tag's a little bit farther away and you can't find it using that precision finding, you can even get real step-by-step -step directions on the maps application to find and navigate your way right to your air tag in your lost uh, possession. So we're gonna view uh, the Find My app in just one second, but first I'm just gonna click done because I want you to go into your settings application and then just go to general software update and just make sure that you have uh, your Apple device up to date because this is going to allow you to get the best experience from your AirTag. As promised, now I wanna show you inside the Find My application, which should be pre-installed on your Apple device. So it's important you know how to use Find My because of course it's how you locate your AirTag as well as any other Apple device that you're using. So once you get on Find My, you're gonna select the Items tab and then find the name of your AirTag. So mine is Charlie's Wallet. Select that uh, and then it's going to show you the precise location of your AirTag on the map. But then if you scroll up, we have these features here. 
So if it's showing you that your AirTag's nearby, maybe it's just lost in your couch cushion, you're gonna wanna try this play sound feature. So it's gonna play a sound right out of your AirTag, and just to show you how loud it really is, let's go ahead and take a listen. And for the size of our AirTag, I was quite impressed with how loud that noise really is. But say you still can't find your AirTag, maybe it's a bit farther away, you're gonna wanna get familiar with this precision finding feature. So you click this find button, and of course my AirTag's sitting right here, so it's going to tell me I am here. But if it was farther away, it's going to give us an arrow. And it's pretty precise. If you test it out for yourself, you'll see. Uh, but then you'll just follow the arrow. It's kind of like playing a game of hot and cold. Uh, it will adjust as you move the direction of your phone and it will take you right to the precise location of your AirTag. You also have the ability uh, to play the sound from here. So say it tells you, it brings you right to the location of your AirTag. It says you're here, but maybe it's hiding underneath something and you can't find it click that audio button and it will play that same sound out of your AirTag. Down here we have lost mode. So when enabled, what lost mode does, it's gonna notify you uh, when you, somebody finds your AirTag, if it's not you. Uh, it will also lock your AirTag. So this is so nobody else can find your lost AirTag and then start using it for themselves. Until you disable this lost mode, it's not going to allow anybody else to connect to your AirTag. Now, another cool feature about lost mode is you can leave your phone number uh, and a custom message to be displayed to whichever person finds your item. So you can leave a note saying, please give me a call, give your personal number, and then if somebody locates your AirTag, if they're kind enough, they can give you a call to tell them that they recovered it. And then lastly, you have the ability to rename your item if maybe you change uh, your AirTag from being in your wallet and switch it to maybe your purse, you can go ahead and rename that. And then of course, you can remove the item from your Find My. So as mentioned earlier, we're able to give our phone number and a custom note uh, to our AirTag uh, when in lost mode in case somebody ever finds our lost AirTag. Well, what if you find somebody else's lost AirTag? What you can do, and this is assuming that they're in lost mode and have set up this feature, you can take the lost AirTag, place it on the back of your iPhone, and an NFC or a URL is going to appear on the top of your screen. You click that URL and it's going to take you to their custom note and their phone number so you can give them a call uh, and let them know that you recovered their AirTag. Now nothing's happening when I do this here because it's my AirTag and I don't have it in lost mode. But again, if you ever find somebody's AirTag and you want to return it, place it on the back of your phone, and it's going to bring up that NFC. If the worst case scenario ever happens and you find an AirTag uh, on you, uh, on your belonging that's not yours, and you feel as if maybe you're being tracked, and you want to disable it uh, to be safe, what you can do to disable this so you're not being tracked is take out the battery. So if you're ever worried somebody's trying to track you and you need to disable an AirTag, to remove the battery, we're gonna press down on this metal frame and then just rotate that uh, metal frame and it will pop right out. And then you can just go ahead and take out the battery. Now when you pull the battery out, of course, this is going to completely disable the AirTag and you won't need to worry about it tracking you. Now that we have our AirTag open, it's a great time for me to show you how to reboot your AirTag if it's ever uh, having any technical issues and you need to restart it. So to do that, it's pretty easy, but it's a little uh, annoying, I guess. The way you restart the AirTag is you actually need to remove the battery, place it back in, and then put this top back on it and do that five times. So again, you just completely remove the battery, turn off the AirTag, and then turn it back on. And you need to do that five times. But what's going to happen is it's going to erase all of its history from your devices. It will completely reboot the AirTag. So it start, should start working like brand new once again, but you will need to go uh, and repair your AirTag with those devices after you reboot it. But again, you just take the battery out five times and it's going to completely restart your AirTag. We're going to take a quick break from today's video so I can introduce you to our sponsor, Free Economist. 
Free Economist is a YouTube channel putting out content around cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies, which are very relevant topics right now. Although this is not financial advice, Free Economist is putting out high quality content as well as useful tutorials, which can make it a bit easier to learn about the cryptocurrency space. This gets even better because Free Economist is actively running a massive giveaway for a brand new iPhone 12 Pro. If you want to have your chance to win a brand new iPhone 12 Pro, all you need to do is subscribe to their YouTube channel and then check off this notification bell right here. Then just comment under this community post letting Free Economist know that you've entered the giveaway. Participants are accepted until May 31st, and after that date, Free Economist is going to collect a list of all of the participants and randomly choose the winner live on their YouTube channel. So again, if you want to learn about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, as well as have your chance at winning a brand new iPhone 12 Pro, just use the link down in the description or the link you see on screen, or just find Free Economist on YouTube and complete the steps that you see here. Enjoy. Now that we've gone through all of the basic features of our AirTag and how to properly get it set up, I have three really cool tips and tricks for you. So the first one has to do with customizing the name that's associated with your AirTag. So if we go back to this page of the Find My Application and select the Rename Items tab, of course we have these options that we already went through that Apple gives us and the Custom Name option. But what you may have not known is even if you choose one of these preset names, you can still customize the name. So you can type in whatever you want here and customize it that way. But it gets better because not only can you change the text associated with it, but you can also change the icon. So if you select on that circle right here, it's going to bring up the emoji menu. Now you can search for whatever you want, and it's going to bring up the different emojis that you can choose from. So maybe you want to change it to that. Then just click done, and it's actually going to change the emoji or the icon that is shown on the map. So you can personalize all of the different items you have with your different air tags. The next tip I have for you is in case you ever want to sell or give away one of your air tags. So if you remember earlier, I said if somebody ever finds an AirTag, they won't be able to use it because it will be associated to your personal Apple ID. But of course that means then it'd be hard to give that AirTag away. But there's a way around this because you can simply remove the item from all of your devices and detach it from your Apple ID, making it a brand new AirTag that you're free to give away. So to do that, you just click this remove item and it's going to bring up this page here, just letting you know that it's going to remove the item from your Apple ID uh, but just be careful here because you only want to remove it if you're really going to give it away or stop using it because you'll no longer be able to locate that AirTag on your Find My application. But it's really simple. Just click the Remove Item button and then just remove that AirTag. I want to take just a really quick break from our video to invite you to join our free email newsletter, AppFind VIP. This is where we send out the best mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox. To get signed up, all you need to do is go to appfindvip.com, the link's on screen and down in the description, and from there, just enter your name, email address, and then you get to decide what types of emails you wanna receive from us. Choose from receiving the best mobile apps or the best mobile games, or if you just want to be a part of our app find giveaways, that's fine too. Just check off that third option because every single month we run app find giveaways where we give away incredible prizes like Apple and Google play gift cards. And you're automatically going to be entered into those giveaways just for being a part of our email newsletter. So again, go to appfindvip.com. The link's on the screen and down in the description. We can't wait to have you inside. Now I want to show you how we can use Siri with our AirTag. So if you ever lose one of your items with your AirTag attached to it, you can actually use a Siri command to help uh, you find it and relocate it. So what you do is you take the name that's associated with your AirTag, so in my case, Charlie's Wallet, and all you do is you activate Siri and you say, hey Siri, where is Charlie's Wallet? Looking for Charlie's Wallet. 
It's nearby. Pinging Charlie's wallet now. So as you can see, it will tell you that it's nearby. If it's farther away, it will show you the directions uh, of where your AirTag is. And if it's nearby, it will also start activating that play sound feature. So it's cool, it's convenient. If you're ever uh, looking for an AirTag, just ask Siri, where is your item? I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was the complete beginner's guide to the AirTag. This video should have shown you how to get your AirTag all set up and then teach you everything you need to know to become an AirTags expert. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite AirTags feature was. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content coming out soon. Now, if you haven't already, I want to remind you to sign up for our free email newsletter, AppFind VIP, by going to appfindvip.com or just using the link down in the description. This is where we send out the best mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox. And plus, once you're on our email newsletter, you're automatically going to be entered into our AppFind giveaways where we give out iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play gift cards to lucky winners every single month just for being a part of our AppFind community. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.